Hi, I'm Tyler Colt from Zanata Consulting, and in this tutorial, we'll be covering the CRM integration with Zoho Campaigns, uh, taken as an excerpt from our 2022 webinar. Um, if you do find this video useful, please be sure to like and subscribe down below. That really does help us out. And please leave any questions or feedback down in the comment section below. We read every single one of those. Enjoy. Alrighty, so like uh, like Brett was mentioning, one of the big things that has changed within Zoho campaigns is the way that it actually syncs over to your CRM. Um, you know, generally speaking, nine times out of ten, we're always going to be using campaigns kind of as an extension of CRM, um, regardless of what people are signing up for and where they're coming from. It's always a best practice to have them start in the CRM and then pull them over uh, into campaigns to actually do your marketing. And so if you're familiar with campaigns, the uh, sync services is kind of the main way that you're going to actually access those uh, features. So under contacts and sync services, we'll open that up now. Um, we'll see I've already connected the CRM here. Really, if you haven't connected it yet, it's just going to give you a button that says associate new account. It's going to do a little pop up and you say, you know, thumbs up and then it's got your accounts connected for you. Um, here I've set up one sync already, um, just so that we already will have some contacts inside of campaigns to work with. Um, I didn't want us to have to wait for it to sync. But in this case, what we'll do is we'll set up a second integration to actually pull from the contacts module. So I'm going to take just a really quick field trip over to CRM to take a look at kind of how we have it set up. Um, so over in campaigns, I've already synced our leads module here. So our leads, pretty simple, just some example data here. Um, we'll note that really the important field is this interests field. So here I have a multi-selector. I'm basically identifying the different types of things that a certain lead is interested in. Um, and then I have that same kind of setup here inside of contacts, right? So I have my, my names, my email, and then these interests. And so similar to how we kind of set up a sync with really any application, uh, on the campaign side, we'll basically just need to go through and delineate what we want to take from CRM and where we want to put it inside of campaigns. So here again, under our sync services and contacts, I'll go ahead and add a new sync. So here, one thing that's different than it used to be is that you used to be able to set up, you know, many different syncs all to the same module inside of CRM. Um, now, the way that it's set up is that you sync the module as a whole and then use some of that data in campaigns to create segments. Um, so here, I'm kind of looking at our list. I've got contacts set up. I don't want to sync it to the all leads mailing list. Maybe I do want to have kind of two discrete lists for leads versus contacts. Um, you technically don't have to sync it to a list at all, but it's generally a best practice just to keep things clean inside of campaigns. So I'll make a new mailing list and I'll just call it all contacts. Again, really, we're only going to need those two. Um, everything else is going to be driven by segments, which I'll show a little bit later. So now kind of one new thing with the sync and kind of new to campaigns as a whole is that contacts are actually identified as either marketing or non-marketing. Um, by default, you're going to want to choose marketing because if you don't, you won't be able to send emails to them. Um, only marketing contacts are going to count towards your kind of uh, subscribers limit inside of campaigns. Um, so if you're on Zoho One, you'll have that kind of 5,000 per user account. So only these marketing contacts are actually going to uh, count towards that. And now last thing we'll do here is select which topics we want them to be associated with. Um, in this case, I'm going to choose marketing kind of our most broad uh, topic here so that we can set up, um, you know, just to have them in our general marketing bucket. And then I'll show you how you can kind of selectively put people into topics um, in one of our next sections here. So the last little kind of advanced options are just kind of determining what you want to do with people who have opted out. Um, generally speaking, you want to just leave this as is. 
So if anyone has already opted out in CRM, there's no reason to pull them into a mailing list in campaigns. You want to honor their opt out and not start sending them emails again. Um, and then lastly, you know, kind of a similar thing is just, do you want to remove them completely rather than just exclude them from your mailing list? Um, again, in general, this is always how you want to have it is just leave these on. And so now we've set up kind of the initial part of our sync where we've chosen what data we're going to get, you know, and where we're going to put it. Now we actually need to go through and map the specific fields from each module that we want to pull from. So some of the ones that we always want, right, we're always going to want to pull in the first name from CRM. That's automatically going to associate it to a field called first name because that's already set up inside of campaigns. And then for our use case here, we're gonna keep it really simple, but we do also wanna pull over this interests field. Now I already have a custom field set up for interests. So I went ahead and associated that. If you didn't have a field yet for something that you wanted to pull, you know, maybe you wanted their industry, the company size, you can always just check this new field box and it'll go ahead and add that for you so that you don't have to go into the back end of campaigns and do that. So I'll go ahead and add that here. Now, for our purposes today, we're not going to focus much on the accounts and deals, but I do just want to highlight this. Um, if you are pulling from the contacts module, you can actually choose to pull data directly from the related account, as well as from deals that are underneath that contact. Now, the way that it's going to work with deals could be its, its whole own video, and we'll probably make a separate kind of training guide on that. It's a little interesting. Um, when you have one contact and multiple deals, there are a couple best practices that you'll have to keep in mind. Um, but for our sake here, really the primary things that we're gonna need are this data directly from the contacts record. So I'll go ahead and initiate that sync. Now that is gonna take just a little bit of time. It's gonna run in the background here. We don't need to worry about that for the time being. Um, but what I do wanna show you is kind of how it will look once it's done. So if I jump over to the manage list here under contacts, we'll see nothing's been added to contacts yet, but we do in fact have some leads set up. And so this is from our other sync that we pulled earlier. So it actually went ahead, it pulled in those contacts and we have them in here with their email addresses and their various product or kind of subscription interests. Um, so those are really all you have to do, right? To pull in your CRM. Um, I will highlight, you know, you can pull in custom modules from this as well. Um, so maybe if you had, you're in real estate and you have a separate module for brokers or, you know, attorneys that you work with, you could pull them in as a custom module and email out to them all the same. Um, but really for most people, this is all you're going to have to do is just set up the leads, set up your contacts, and then you are off to the races. Um, and really those next steps here that we'll jump into in a moment are going to involve how we're going to actually get them into segments, um, basically grouping them based on their field data, and then how we can use segments to actually drop them into a particular topic. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, if you did find it useful, please again be sure to like and subscribe down below. Uh, that really helps us out and it'll make sure that uh, YouTube shows you our videos in the future when we put out more tutorials just like this one. Um, if you do have any questions or feedback, uh, make sure to leave those in the comments as well. We really do appreciate that. It helps us get better and better. And uh, after all that, we will uh, see you on our next tutorial video.